women do better in the heat. Okay, talk to me about this. Okay, so when we look at sauna exposure, women can tolerate heat a lot more than men. We're heating ourselves, our body's responding to it by what we call heat shock protein responses. So these little proteins that will uncouple and then re couple and, and be better for it. So it's creating a whole cellular change, increasing blood flow to the brain. We're also improving our blood vessels so they respond to constriction and dilation a lot faster, which is important as we get older and start hit perimenopause, we start mm -hmm. having blood pressure problems. When you're in the sauna sitting there, it takes time for the body to heat up because of our thermoregulatory differences between what men do when they get in and they start sweating profusely and then they get dehydrated and they don't have time to adapt as well to the heat as women do because we vasodilate first and then we start sweating. If we are doing 10 to 15 minutes twice a week, at bare minimum, mm -hmm. you get health benefits. Another great nugget of information from Dr. Stacy Sims mentioning the temperature differences with men and women in sauna. And what she goes on to say is about the powerful benefits on the cardiovascular system. So it really is almost like an aerobic workout for your vasculature when you're in the sauna. So that's better cardiovascular outcomes, lower dementia risk, and also there's evidence to support better mood. So agree here with Dr. Stacy Sims, sauna is a wonderful tool with a number of health benefits. And that's why I've been covering it in my content and recommending it to my patients. It's not the only thing for your health, but it is a nice tool to support your health goals.